how are you today? I am back with another video and this video will be a little special because it will be me answering some questions about post-crossing. So you will know um, a little bit better, a little bit better about my post-crossing life. Um, so I have some questions here. Um, I have been inspired by um, Muriel from the channel Muriel Life. Uh, I will link her channel down below, so if you're interested, um, sometimes she does uh, some post-crossing video. Uh, she hasn't done any post-crossing video for a few months because she's doing a little break, but sometimes she does edits in French, so if you speak French, go ahead and check it out. She has done a questionnaire about post-crossing a few years ago. Um, my questionnaire is a little bit different, a few questions are different, but it's mostly um, the same, so I've been inspired by Muriel. Thank you Muriel if you uh, pass by uh, my channel. <laughs> Hi! So um, there is 10 questions and I will uh, try to answer the questions uh, as best as I can. And I also leave uh, the questions down below so in case you are interested in answering the questions. Uh, if you have a channel, maybe you can do the same video. I would be very interested in seeing your answers. In case you're doing the questionnaire, please let me know and I will go and have a look at your answers, uh, whether it's on videos or maybe uh, on uh, a blog or I don't know. So um, let's get started. First question, how did you discover post-crossing? I discovered post-crossing through um, a pen pal. I was very into pen polling um, all my life. <laughs> And one day, a pen pal of me, of mine, uh, was uh, writing about um, the post-crossing website and was telling me that she uh, subscribed to it and it was so nice. She received a couple of cards already and I was so intrigued by it. So I went, um, I, I went uh, on in the internet to check it out and of course, I loved this website right away. It was just for me. <laughs> I loved the concept of post-crossing right away and of course I subscribed. Um, so thanks. that's thanks to a pen pal of me. Uh, second question, since when are you a member of post-crossing? I've joined a post -cross the post-crossing website in May 2006. 2006, so it's been, I've been a member of Postcrossing for over 13 years now. Over 13 years, so it was in 2006. Yeah. Um, number three, how many cards have you sent and received so far? So I have almost received 4,800 postcards, 4,800 postcards. Um, question four, from which country have you received the most cards? So I've checked um, right before um, doing this video, I checked on my postcrossing um, profile and I have checked and uh, so far, so over the 13 years, um, the most postcards come from Germany. 16% of my cards comes from, come from Germany. 10% uh, come from USA. Uh, a little bit more than 9% come from the Netherlands and 9% come from Russia. So that's the countries I have received the most cards. Germany, USA, Netherlands and Russia. But mostly uh, Germany. <laughs> Question 5. Uh, from which countries have 
sorry, <laughs> I rewind. From which countries you haven't received a card yet? Um, I have received cards from a lot of countries over the 13 years. So it will be difficult to let you know exactly from which countries I haven't received a card, but I haven't received a card from many African countries. So yeah, uh, we don't receive a lot of cards from Africa um, or maybe um, South America. South America is pretty rare. Um, yeah, so I, I would say a lot of um, countries from Africa I haven't received. Um, question six, which are your favorite types of cards to receive? So I, um, I love all cards. I love all types of cards. I am very happy with any cards I receive via Post Crossing, of course, but I have some favorite of course i have some you know some cards uh when i receive them i'm just like oh my god this is so beautiful and like i said in a previous video my favorite type of postcards are illustrations this is for me the top of the top of my favorite um i i don't have uh, like just a few postcards I love. There are many, 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 of course. I've, I've um, uh, selected uh, some postcards that I've received like the last past year. Uh, so that you can see uh, which type of postcards I really love to receive. I'm going to show them to you very fast because otherwise this video will be uh, way too long. So. I love to receive cakes, anything that is yummy, or um, every, anything uh, related to coffee, co hot cocoa, uh, tea, uh, cakes, um, cookies, anything that's good, fruits, like that. I also received. Uh, I also like to receive anything that it's typical from your country, like costumes or crafts, like this. And then I like to receive this type of postcards that are very popular in the USA, that are quite like illustrations from a city, but that is kind of vintage, I would say. So here we go. And I like to receive anything like with pretty uh, colors and uh, cute animals or yeah, things like that. Cute animals. Or anything related to mail, you know, snail mail, mail, letter, like this one. I love foxes. This is one of my favorite illustrated animals, fox. Really, I am always in love with fox. Like you see here. This one is way too cute. It's not a fox, but I love it so much. Like this, I love it so much. Rabbits and coffee. Rabbits and coffee, huh? Squirrel, squirrel, cute bird with uh, who, which uh, is mailing a letter, perfect. And I also like anything that is um, like city illustrated, illustrated cities, like this type of cards. Really, I just love them so much and anything like, you know, cute illustration, watercolors and, and stuff like that. So this is just a sample of all the cards I love. Just a sample, tiny sample. Um, then next question, what types of cards are you sending? I am sending a lot of types of postcards because I like to um, please uh, the 
receiver. So I always try to make sure that I send something that will you know that that will make the receiver happy on post crossing you have like you know the profile of the person you can read the profile of the person and the person can tell if they want what type of postcards they really would prefer so i try always to match but it's not always easy so i have a full box like this it's quite heavy with all types of postcards all types all types like anything you want i have <laughs> and i also have in this box like postcards from the city and country i am uh, from for people who prefers um just view card from your country or city and yeah um next question what material do you use when doing post crossing i love to use a lot of material i love to make my uh, cards cute and pretty i like to decorate my cards so i use um i use uh, let me show you i'll use uh like washi tapes i have so many different washi tapes i have like a lot here and i have more in this box here i have many 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 washi tapes uh, this are these are perfect to decorate a postcard i also um let me show you i also have a bag like this full 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 of stickers just let me show you a little bit these are stickers <laughs> but uh, mostly they are like um let me show show you like very tiny stickers that are perfect for the size of a of a um postcard um, if you're interested, I can I can do a um, I can show you my stickers more in in depth if you want. Just let me know down below if you would be interested in show in seeing my my stickers. So, and of course, I am using like pretty stamps. I have boxes like with stamps in it. Oops. Well. <laughs> stamps 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 and um those are all the stamps i have and i like to put some uh, little prioritaire priority uh, stickers i have many of them many types different types that i buy on postal love postal love um, website and those are all my pens and color pens you know if i want to make put some more colors on the postcard <laughs> um next question are you still passionate about post crossing so i've been playing post crossing for 13 years over 13 years now and i can tell you and of course you can tell just watching me being all excited about post crossing yes i am so passionate about post crossing i would say i am maybe more passionate now than i was 13 years ago yeah it it it's i love i love this i love this hobby um i love receiving postcards i love to have a little surprise um every day on my mailbox i love to send a beautiful um decorated postcard um i love anything about post crossing i love anything about post crossing so yeah i am really passionate about it and the last question is do you think you can have enough of post crossing one day that's a good question and i think it, the, the answer is no because sometimes and it happened to me uh, many times during the years sometimes you just you don't want to play post crossing you know for a few months you just don't don't want to write any cards and it's okay 
And that is great about Cross Crossing is that you can stop anytime you want, as long as you register the cards you receive. And then if you one day want to write again, then you can write again. Nothing, nothing is, um, nothing, I mean, it's possible to do that. Just stop and do it again, like a couple of months later. The most important is that if you stop playing, please, register the cards you receive even if you decided to stop playing because it's not very nice to not register a postcard when you have decided not to play anymore so that's just one little thing i am telling you in case you know in case you're doing this because this is not very nice but other than that yeah i love post crossing what about you i want to know anything Every, anything and everything about your post-crossing life. If, if you don't have a channel or a blog, please answer some of the questions down below uh, on a comment. I would love to hear all about um, your post-crossing life. So I think this video is long enough already, so I will stop here. I hope you liked it um, and I will I will do another video um, very soon. Um, have a nice evening, day um, and week and see you very soon. Bye bye. And thanks for watching. Bye.